Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the dispenser solenoid on your refrigerator, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, and you may need a pair of needle nose pliers and a putty knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, since we will be working near some electrical circuits, we should disconnect the power to the appliance, so simply pull the plug. Now on this particular model, to gain access to that solenoid, we just need to remove the cover on the control panel here. So we'll begin by sliding the putty knife in between the dispenser assembly and that cover. Just pry out gently on it. And that will release the five little arrowhead tabs. Then we'll remove the four Phillips screws. Now we can tilt that control panel out far enough we can reach in and disconnect the wire harness. And then just roll it forward. And that will allow us to disengage the water line at the back. And we'll need to get that tubing nipple away from the dispenser. And then we can pull the whole dispenser away and set it aside. Now we see the solenoid located over on the left hand side here. Our next step will be to disconnect the wire harness, use a pair of needle nose pliers, and grasp the connector, not the wires, and pull that off of the solenoid. Now next we're going to remove the center grounding screw. Now it's a small machine screw, so we want to make sure that we keep that straight. Then remove the two mounting screws, and they're a self-tapping screw. Now lastly, in the top left-hand corner, there's a single Phillips screw that holds a fork tab on that bracket. And we just need to loosen that screw a turn. So just support the solenoid. We loosen it, and then it will drop out. You'll also see the plunger for that solenoid is still attached to the hinged end of that flapper door. And if we open that door a little bit, that will drop off. Now, to attach the new solenoid and plunger, we find it easier if we just slide that plunger in part way and then just jam it to the side with one finger. And if we can pull that harness out of the way, we can reach up in there and hook that around that lever, and then slide that forked end of the bracket under the head of the screw, and just hold it in position, and tighten the screw. Make sure we line up the two bottom screw holes as we tighten that. Can reinstall the two screws in the bottom and the ground screw. And try to orient that ground screw around to the right. Put the screw through the eyelet and then tuck it in underneath. Tighten that securely. And we'll reconnect the two wire harness to the solenoid. Sure it's on securely. And then we'll make sure that we have the top edge of that flapper so that it doesn't jam on the opening. And if you need to, you can replace that flapper at this time. And we can now reattach the controls. Now when reinstalling the dispenser assembly, We'll need to put this water outlet spout into this gap here. And we found that it's a little bit easier if we actually remove the touch pad actuator. And it's just held in place with four little plastic pins. So just reach in and pop it out. And we'll just set that aside. That will allow us to slide that 
nozzle down into this opening. And we can reconnect the wire harness. And then we can just pivot that whole assembly up into position. Making sure that we don't pinch any wire harnesses. while holding it in place, just depress that actuator lever and listen for the sound of the micro switch. So we know we have that in the proper position. We can then install the four Phillips screws along the fascia. Sure they're tight but don't over tighten them. And next we can put the control cover back in position. Just line up the five pins. And then we'll reinstall the touch pad. Just line up the four pins. Press each corner firmly into position. Check the operation again. And we can now set our selector to ice, reconnect the power, give it a quick test, and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.